you know, I can just see that the Lord has done amazing things in your life. And it's crazy to think that, you know, I was standing in the pulpit one Sunday and y'all were dating. And then here we are standing here at the, at the altar looking forward to this day. When Corey met Macy, I could really tell this was the one for Corey. And uh, so Macy, thank you for really changing Corey at his heart. You're really special to him and I know he loves you a lot. I was going to cry. Everybody <laughs> told me I better cry. I'm so happy he met Macy. As Dylan said, she's changed him and she has. She's made him come into his manhood and be a very good and loving man. Macy, that man will die for you. Do everything for you. It is my pleasure to pronounce them husband and wife in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Corey, you may kiss your brother. Uh, Webster's Dictionary defines wedding as the fusing of two metals with a hot torch. Well, you know something? I think you guys are two metals. Gold medals to Corey and Macy. So Corey, I'm proud for you, and Macy. I'm glad you're there. I'm glad you're a part of my life. Um, I'll always be there for you. Macy and Corey, I think I can speak for everyone in this room. How very proud we are of both of you. How much we love you and how much we support you. You got a lot of love in this room, and I wish you all the best. I'm happy for both of y'all, and I'm excited to have you as a brother. I think y'all are a great match. I'm happy for you. I think all these people here and the love they've shown for you tonight is a huge testament uh, to how much we all support you, how much we all love you, and we're just all happy for you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Corey Parker.